Hi, I'm going to show you how you can apply filters to your map so that you can view your locations that pertain to certain criteria. For example, if you want to only look at locations in a specific state or a certain city or a zip code, uh, you can easily apply a filter so that you're, you can only look, you'll only look at those locations. So let's jump right in. Uh, first, I'm going to go to the Topoli website and log in. And once I log in, let me go ahead and create a new map. And this map, we're going to name it a filter demo map. And press next. And let's go ahead and add a new data set. This data set name is going to be filter demo data set. OK. And let me open up Excel. And uh, so you can see here I have a name, address, city, state, zip. Um, that's the information I need to put the locations in. I also have a phone number in here. And then um, this is the important area. This is what we're going to apply the filter on is this segment category. So let's uh, pretend that this is a list of customers and you've applied different segments to these customers uh, in a column in your spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and select our data, copy that, and we'll go back to Topoli, and we'll paste that in, and we'll click Create My Map, and it's going to go ahead and process our locations. I'm going to pause it till we get the end, and pick up from there. Okay, we're just finishing up here, and uh, now it's completed, and you notice it added another available data set, uh, the filter demo data set. Uh, and it's automatically clicked it, so if I click Finish, it'll go ahead and add it to our map. Um, along with any of the other locations that I click. But for now, let's go ahead and just add this one uh, data set. So I'll click Finish, and it, it'll create my map for me. And there we go. Uh, there's a map of, uh, again, this is <laughs> invented data, but uh, say it's a map of customers or whatnot. Now over here, um, you see the layer that we added, the filter demo data set. And this is the filter icon. If you click on the filter button, it will show you all the available values that you can filter on. And the one I'm interested in now is this segment. Uh, and so if I go ahead and unselect all, then it makes all the locations disappear. And then let's say I just want to see all the chess nerds. And I can click that and um, see exactly which locations uh, were part of the chess nerd segment, or if I would like to see a sports segment. Um, and again, like, this is random data set, but uh, you, you know, if, if you've really done customer segmentation and whatnot, you'd, you'd be able to find some good trends going along with this. Uh, this can be super useful if you are performing some uh, analysis, trying to find opportunities to grow. Uh, you can put your customers on, you can put their segments on, you can put your competitors on, and then see the different uh, filter values to identify opportunities for you. Um, whether it's showing the state they live in, the city, um, or different whatever other data sets you or whatever other columns you add to your spreadsheet. So uh, in essence, that's how you apply a filter to your data set. Um, good luck and enjoy.